I'd just like to do a quick unpacking, as it were, of uh, a new Puig uh, windscreen I have for my Honda CB400. This is a Puig cockpit model. I picked this up from online racing spares. I believe they're in Melbourne. I bought it online. Uh, I'll put their link in the description uh, when I finish up. This is the second windscreen I've purchased from online racing spares for my Honda CB400. Uh, the cockpit, the windscreen I have fitted currently is the Windy. I'll show some uh, video or pictures of that um, later. So I'll be um, replacing the uh, the cockpit onto the onto the bike later. Uh, there's no real reason I'm switching over. the The windy's been very good. I've been quite happy with it. I just thought I'd try a different look on the bike, see if it makes any difference uh, with the wind. The CB400 is a, a naked bike, obviously, uh, and Although some might say it detracts from the looks a bit, I uh, I wanted to kind of decrease a bit of the wind speed, the wind, the wind buffeting, and, and see what difference it made. And and, and personally, I, I think it looks quite good on the bike, so other people's opinions might differ. So I'll just do a quick uh, unpacking of this and give you a look. Um, online racing spares of... Had to order this in from overseas for me. Um, so whether or not it's come from Spain, I'm not sure. But uh, it took about a month, probably, from the time it ordered online. Maybe maybe five weeks from the time I placed the order online uh, to being delivered. And they were really good. They notified me that they were ordering it in and how long it might take, and also uh, sent me a notification when they when they shipped it off so um, like I said it's the second time I've purchased a windscreen through them and both times have been really good really happy with their customer service so I'll definitely be uh, using them again so basically it comes in packaging so as I go through this so we've got the um, all the fixtures all nuts and bolts whatnot probably won't unpack this at the moment for obvious reasons. A little Puig sticker. Um, a booklet which has all the different models for various bikes. Pretty detailed. Uh, there's also a, a PDF catalogue online if you search for the Puig brand. Uh, yeah, has all the different uh, windscreens and all the other accessories that Puig make. Very rudimentary um, instruction booklet. Kind of Ikea-esque I guess. Uh, it actually looks a bit easier to read on the camera than it is on the actual instructions. Anyway. And then down to the actual windscreen itself, came packed really well, was boxed up and um, had all protective packaging on it, so it's arrived in perfect condition. It's probably a bit hard to see in this white background, but um, very happy with Puig's quality. Probably not going to get a uh, good indication of the shape and... Uh, feature of it until I actually put on the bike so like I said I'll go ahead and um, take some shots of the windy that's currently installed on the bike uh, change it over with the cockpit which I have here and then I'll uh, put some pictures or video of the of the changeover result all right so once again I'll put the link to uh, online racing spares and then Puig's information in, in the video description and that might help you if you've uh, decided to go with a pure green screen. Alright, thanks for watching. Alright, here she is, my Honda CB400. She's 
2011 model. Um, I got her in 2013, I think. Uh, Lambs approved my first motorcycle, and she's been fantastic. Plenty of power for a starter, for a learner, um, and even more. Like I could probably keep this bike for a long time and not get bored of it. Sorry for my extremely messy garage. Uh, and this is the Puig Windy. Uh, it's been really good. I think it makes a big difference in the riding. Like I said, some people might not like it on naked bikes. Um, if you're only commuting in the city or whatnot, you might not need it. Uh, but if you're kind of doing a lot of more open road riding, I think it personally I think it makes a difference. One thing I have noticed is that I believe I may have installed this incorrectly. Let's see if I can get that there. I think that mounting bracket is on backwards or on the other side. But it doesn't matter. It's only been on there for three years. So I'll see what difference the installation of with the cockpit does. I'll try and follow the instructions properly and I don't think it makes I don't think it's affected the obviously hasn't fallen off or anything so but I'll try and rectify that if it is incorrect once I have a further read of instructions. Love this bike. It's the uh Keychain I picked up from uh, Moto Loot. I mentioned that in my last video. So as you can see, the previous key tag was rubbing on this section, so you probably can't see it. But there's little, tiny little scratches. Nothing, nothing major. But, but anyway, I like the. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, mount for my GoPro remote. Picked that up on eBay. About twenty dollars, if I remember correctly. I've just got it. Clamped onto the uh, revision mirror there. Works quite well. It's kind of within uh, easy reach of your hand to use the GoPro remote. Uh, pussy grips. Nice, nice soft grips. Um, I found my hands were getting quite tired with the thinner, like the original hand grips. So having the pussy grips on there, like not only are they soft, but they gave a bit more volume to the grip and took a lot of um, stress off my hand, found it more comfortable. So they've been great. They've been on there since I bought the bike and they're still holding up really well. So I'd definitely get those for any bike I get in the future. What else have we got in here? I won't go into too much. I'll, I might do a, another video for the bike. For those people who are here just to view the uh, the Puig stuff. Alright, so that's the Puig Windy. I'll get the new one set up and get some more video up there. Thanks. Alright guys, it's the finished product. I say I do quite like it. Changes the look quite dramatically actually. Um, I'll go for a ride and probably fine tune the position of the windscreen. It can tilt back quite a fair bit from where it is, so I want to see how upright I want it and how much it changes the direction of the wind flow. But I do quite like the look. Took a bit of tinkering to get it uh, correctly fitted. I did go with the the change in installation of the bracket I think it was incorrect the way I had it um, I was worried it wouldn't fit initially because the brackets need to bend uh, to the shape of the the frame so initially it looked like they weren't going to fit in there they did kind of do a bit of scratching to the paint on the uh, on the frame here as I was 
fiddling around. Otherwise, uh, yeah, once you know how how to do it, and you know that they're going to bend to conform, it wasn't too much of a problem. So yeah, I do quite like it. It's good to be able to uh, change the look of your bike so dramatically just by adding a aftermarket windscreen. You can see my uh, one of my GoPro mounts here conveniently brackets onto the the naked frame. So the GoPro will sit here facing forward. So yeah. Quite like it. So I'll take it out for a ride, see how much it uh, changes the feel of the bike. Thanks for watching. See ya.